Hi! Do you remember last week when uh, we were all complaining about how we didn't have enough time to watch all the movies and TV shows we wanted to? You know, hashtag too much content. Well, uh, we have time now. So, now that we've got all the time in the world on our hands to watch every single TV show and movie we'd ever want to, I thought I'd go through Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu and make some recommendations of what you should watch while you are under quarantine. Originally, I was going to make this big, long list of movies that you should watch, but uh, then I realized that that would take forever, so I thought, hey, how about I just log on to Netflix and uh, we'll wing it from there. Alright, let's get started with Netflix. Alrighty, let's see what we have here. Ooh, okay. Uh, Netflix has both Lord of the Rings The Two Towers and Lord of the Rings Return of the King. So, if you're one of those people who's always telling me, Ugh, The Lord of the Rings is too long, I don't have time to watch it. Well, now you've got time. So it doesn't seem like they have The Fellowship of the Ring on here, which is frustrating. All right, but there's good news. You can rent Fellowship of the Ring on YouTube, Vudu, Google Play, Apple. You can, you can rent it on any on-demand service, which I would highly recommend doing because the Lord of the Rings trilogy is honestly probably the best trilogy of movies ever made. Alternatively, if you really want to challenge yourself, go find a friend who has all three extended editions, because the extended editions are honestly like so much better than the theatrical versions, but they're so, so long. But hey, if you want to shave a nice 10 hours off of your quarantine time, that's a good way to do it. All right, let's find some stuff that's a little bit more obscure. Oh, all right. If you like Lord of the Rings, Pan's Labyrinth is on Netflix, which that's this really, really cool, like Spanish fairy tale movie directed by Guillermo del Toro. It's fantastic. I would highly recommend. Silver Linings Playbook. I actually watched that one yesterday. It's really good. It was nominated for an Oscar. Oh, they have Shawshank Redemption on here. That is one of the best movies ever made. It's so good. <laughs> There's this movie trending right now called Outbreak. So, you know, makes sense. But don't watch it. Not because it's going to freak you out. It's just not a good movie. I should probably go a little bit quicker with these. Groundhog Day, Inception. Here's one. It's called Mr. Right. It's about this girl who like meets this guy and he's like the perfect guy, but he's actually a hitman who like murders people. It's a really bad way of describing it, but it's really good and really, really funny. It stars Anna Kendrick and she's just great. I don't know why I keep doing this. What is this? I think it's like the chef's kiss. Like. Ooh, The Last Samurai. That is one of my favorite movies. Ah, here's one. It's called About Time. Have you heard of this movie? It's from the same person who made, uh, what's the movie called? Love Actually. I was shocked at how good that movie was. It may or may not have made me ugly cry at the end of it. I know I'm not doing a great job, like, describing these movies, but if I did, I, I wouldn't have time to go through all of them. Ooh, Snowpiercer, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Watch that movie. Oh, they got like all the Indiana Jones movies. Hitch. That's a funny movie. Ooh, Patriot Games. If you've never checked out Quentin Tarantino before, now's a good time. Uh, they have both Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2 and Glorious Bastards and The Hateful Eight all on Netflix, so check those out. Ooh, The Dirty Dozen. That's a great classic war movie. Julie and Julia is kind of a forgotten gem. It's, it's pretty dang good. Ooh, Hot Rod. That's a good movie. It's a Lonely Island movie. So, like, it's Andy Samberg, and it's freaking hilarious. Duncan Jones' Moon is on here. That is a very, very good sci-fi movie made for a very, very low budget. I, I would highly recommend. Oh my gosh, they have John Carter. Okay, so here is an underseen gem you should definitely watch. It's based off of the sci-fi novels that were written by the same guy who wrote Tarzan that, like, every sci-fi movie ever has stolen from. Uh, to me, it has this feeling of, like, old-fashioned, like, action-adventure serial, like, kind of a Indiana Jones, uh, 80s Star Wars feel to it. I don't know, you may not like it, but this movie seems very polarizing for a lot of people. I loved it, but other people find it very, very forgettable, so I don't know, I guess, uh, you'll just have to watch it and find out. Legend of Cocaine Island is a really good documentary. It's really, really fun. It's kind of like Breaking Bad if it was a comedy and it actually happened. Swiss Army Man. That is the weirdest movie I've ever watched. Ooh, Train to Busan. That is a zombie movie uh, set in Korea. It is so good. It may be my favorite zombie movie. Oh, A Silent Voice. Okay, if you like anime, or heck, even if you don't like anime, check out A Silent Voice. It is a beautiful, beautiful movie, and it, uh, it's beautiful. All right, that's probably enough movies. Uh, let's see what TV shows are on Netflix. Ooh, first thing that pops up is Castlevania. Castlevania is 
really, really great. It's probably the best thing ever adapted from a video game. It's also horrifically violent, so if, if you don't like horrifically violent anime-style animation, don't watch this show. But it's good. It is very good. If you've never seen Parks and Recreation, what are you doing with your life? Watch Parks and Recreation. The whole thing's on here. Just, just watch it. As is The Good Place, which was created by the same guy who created Parks and Recreation. This is one of my favorite TV shows ever. It is so, so, so good. It is one of the best comedies in years. It has some of the most creative concepts. It has the most brilliant writing. It is so, so good. Watch The Good Place. Continuing on sitcoms, New Girl is a really good one. Ooh, ooh, okay. You need to watch Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. If you like sci-fi fantasy stuff like Star Wars or Game of Thrones, this show is the show for you. It is so good. It's a prequel to the 80s movie, The Dark Crystal. It's astounding. The puppetry, the practical effects, the writing. By the end of it, I was so hooked. I, I went through withdrawals after I finished it. It is so amazing. You have to watch it. Daredevil. Daredevil is a show I have a surprisingly hard time getting people to watch. Like, it's a superhero TV show, and it's like the best life action superhero TV show. I know so many people that watch like Arrow or The Flash or Legends of Tomorrow, but they won't watch Daredevil, which is a million times better. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen, to be honest. Oh, speaking of superhero television shows, I don't know if you ever watched the Netflix original The Umbrella Academy, which is basically just X-Men meets The Watchmen, but it's very, very good. I'd highly recommend it. Ooh, here's a slightly older one, The West Wing. It is phenomenal. You know, a lot of people didn't really love Disenchantment. It's an animated one from the same guy who did Futurama and The Simpsons, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It was very amusing. Ooh, and Better Call Saul. That's the spinoff of Breaking Bad, which is one of the greatest shows ever created. Maybe the best show ever created, so if you haven't watched Breaking Bad, watch that. But way too few people have watched the spinoff Better Call Saul, and it is so good. It might be better than Breaking Bad in some ways. I cannot recommend Better Call Saul enough. Are you watching Better Call Saul yet? Watch Better Call Saul. You know what? I think that's it for Netflix, so uh, let's move on to Hulu. All right, Hulu is mostly known for their TV, so we're gonna start with TV. All right, my biggest recommendation on Hulu is Fargo. They made a TV show like spinoff off of the Coen Brothers movie, Fargo, and it is so good, especially season one. But seasons two and three are also fantastic. Season four is coming out here in a few months. It is amazing. It's one of the best crime dramas ever to air on TV, and you should watch it. I would also highly recommend FX's What We Do in the Shadows. What We Do in the Shadows is based off of the movie directed by Taika Waititi, who also created and directed this show. It is so good. It's a mockumentary about a bunch of like vampires who live together in an apartment, and it's it's so funny. I would highly recommend it. Ooh, another one of my favorite sitcoms, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. If you've never watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine, drop whatever you're doing right now and watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's so good. If you really want to kill some time this week, uh, I would recommend watching Lost. That is one of the most twisty and turny TV shows ever created, and the ending is not entirely satisfying, but the journey makes up for it. See, the great thing about Hulu is it has almost everything, like, ever in terms of TV. Like, Firefly. Watch Firefly. Uh, the first season of Castle Rock's really good. Haven't watched season two. Uh, the ending was a little weak, but still pretty good. Oh my gosh, they have Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is one of the best TV shows ever created. It is one of the best comedies. It's one of the best animated television shows. It's one of the best children's shows. It is so, so good. How I Met Your Mother, that's one of my favorite sitcoms, but the ending's not great, but but it's still pretty dang good. It's like Friends, but better. Yeah, I said it. Community, that's a really good sitcom. Though it's, honestly, I don't know if anyone would enjoy Community if they're not like a big film or TV nerd, because like every single episode is just pop culture references, but it's good. <gasps> Frasier's on here. You should watch Frasier. Frasier's really good. All right, that's, that's enough of the TV shows. Let's uh, go back to movies that they have on Hulu. Uh, ooh, Fighting With My Family. That was one of the best movies of last year. Nobody went and saw it, but it was so, so good. It was a really great inspirational sports drama, and it was really funny. I would highly recommend it. Ooh, Instant Family. That is a 
wonderful comedy. It's very heartwarming. I, I, I love, love, love that movie. Super 8, Creed 2, Mission Impossible Fallout, Quiet Place. If you haven't seen A Quiet Place yet, what are you doing with your life? Annihilation, if you like really, really, really trippy horror movies. Goodwill Hunting, Three Identical Strangers. That's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. It is shocking. When Harry Met Sally, oh my gosh, this is the best romantic comedy ever made. Ooh, Overlord. Overlord is a fantastic, it's basically, it's Call of Duty Nazi Zombies if it was a movie. It's so good. The new True Grit, go on Netflix, watch the old one. Go on Hulu, watch the new one. Grave of the Fireflies if you want to depress yourself. The Next Three Days, that's a very underrated movie. Uh, not a lot of people have seen it, and it was kind of critically panned when it came out, and I'm not sure why. It, it, I enjoyed it. Oh, uh, and if you like Blumhouse movies like The Conjuring or Get Out, they have an entire series on here. It's just feature-length movies on Hulu. So it's called Into the Dark. It's, it's kind of like Black Mirror, where it's like an anthology, except each episode is a feature-length horror movie, and a bunch of them are really good. All right, I think that's enough for Hulu. Uh, let's move on to Amazon Prime. Now, one nice thing about Prime is the fact that they actually have like movies you can rent. So while they have a slightly more limited selection than Netflix or Hulu, they have ton, they have basically every single movie you could ever possibly want to rent. So if there's a movie you want to rent and just pay, you know, like three, four bucks, it's probably on Amazon Prime. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, Sherlock Holmes. Have, have you ever seen the old Sherlock Holmes movie with that Guy Ritchie made? It's actually surprisingly good. Midsummer. I hated this movie. However, a lot of people think that this is an amazing horror movie, so if you like horror movies like Hereditary, you might like that one. Ooh, Logan Lucky. Logan Lucky is a fantastic little, like, it's a redneck heist movie, and it's, it's really good. The Disaster Artist, that's a movie about the making of The Room, which is like the worst movie ever made. It's really good. Ooh, My Friend Dahmer, that's a surprisingly dark, but also really good uh, movie about Jeffrey Dahmer when he was a teenager. And I thought it was severely overlooked. Ooh, The Big Sick, that's a good one. That's, it's based on a true story about how the main dude met his wife and fell in love with her when she gets incredibly ill and almost dies. So really, really good uh, dramedy there. Clue, that's a fun one. Ooh, The Pianist. That's a hard movie to watch. It's about the Holocaust. If you want to depress yourself during your quarantine, there you go. But it's very good. The Great Escape. That's a classic. Meru. That's one of my buddy Jamie's favorite movies ever. Ooh, Jim Gaffigan. They have a bunch of Jim Gaffigan specials. If you've never watched Jim Gaffigan, he's a comedian and he's very, very funny. So you know, watch his stuff. Rango. Rango is like one of my favorite animated movies. It is so, so good. Ooh, Support Your Local Sheriff. That's a good one. It's a really, really old movie that's surprisingly hilarious. Or that might be Support Your Local Gunfighter. There's two movies, Support Your Local Sheriff and Support Your Local Gunfighter. And they star the exact same people and they're directed by the same people, but they're two different movies. And they're not like related to each other in any other way than that. And I don't remember which one's which, and I've only seen one of them. Oh my gosh, they have The Court Jester. Okay, The Court Jester is a classic comedy starring Danny Kaye. And it's one of those classic comedies that even though it's very, very, very old, it's very, very, very funny. And the humor holds up. Fantastic. Go watch that one. Oh, and Ghost Town. That is another fantastic comedy starring Ricky Gervais. It is hilarious. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Love that one. Support your local gunfighter. There it is. So both of them are on here. 310 to Yuma. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Ooh, What We Do in the Shadows. This is one of the funniest comedies I've seen in years. I mentioned the TV show earlier. It's based off this movie. The TV show is great. The movie is better. IMDb TV has like a section in Prime with a lot of movies you can watch with ads. So like A Few Good Men, Blade Runner 2049. This is one of my favorite movies of last decade. It is so amazingly good. Chef, Lion, Rudy, the Social Network. Yeah, if you're willing to watch some with a few ads, then uh, definitely check out this section. There's some good stuff. All right, let's move on to their TV. First off, they have Band of Brothers, which is arguably the best miniseries ever created. It's so good. It's Saving Private Ryan, the TV show. Patriot. Check that one out. It's really, really funny. It's about a spy who goes undercover at like a really boring piping business, and he's got a fake that he knows everything there is to know about piping. It is really, really funny. I'd highly recommend. Uh, the Marvelous Ms. Maisel is 
really, really great. I'd highly recommend it. I hear good things about The Man from High Castle and Jack Ryan and The Boys, but I have not watched any of them as of yet. Good Omens. That show is great. It is so, so good. Watch it. Oh my gosh, they have Chuck. Chuck is a show I had a love-hate relationship with. It had moments that were really, really great, and then other moments where it really felt like they were kind of forcing it, but but it's a good show. Monk. Monk was like my favorite TV show for a long time. It's a really, really charming, just easygoing, relaxing, like little murder mystery comedy show. It's hilarious. In the show, Monk has like OCD, and so he's got to like wipe down every single handle that he touches. He's always washing his hands, and I'm still trying to feel like Monk during this whole coronavirus thing, so, you know, there's that. The Wire! Wow, they have The Wire! I've never seen The Wire, but it's supposed to be the greatest TV show ever created other than Breaking Bad, so I may have to watch that. Oh my gosh, they have John Adams. John Adams is one of my favorite, like, shows I've ever seen. It's basically just a really big, long movie about John Adams, one of the founding fathers. If you want to learn, like, everything there is to know about what happened during the Revolutionary War, in the founding of our country, watch John Adams. It is surprisingly accurate, incredibly well acted, and incredibly well directed. I, I cannot recommend it enough. Yeah, that's about everything that I have actually watched on Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Netflix that I would highly recommend. If I've helped you find some good movies and TV shows to watch, comment below and let me know what you thought of them. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe out there, and please, please, please wash your hands.